I'm Scott Stein. Well, not the real Scott Stein. I mean, real, but uh, I'm controlling a persona Scott Stein. So I'm really here inside an Apple Vision Pro, but what you're seeing is a 3D scan of myself. Let's talk about that, and let's talk about the world of AI and virtual representations of ourselves, and what's fascinating what Apple's doing in the headset and where it could end up on phones and glasses beyond. This is All Things Mobile. So this is actual me, not a virtual persona avatar. But unless you get a chance to use the Vision Pro, which is a $3,500 piece of equipment, you're not gonna get to experience that cool, pseudo-realistic, surprisingly convincing representation of myself that to me is the most interesting thing about Apple's headset right now. And it's not something that Apple is doing alone. Back in 2020, I had met with a company called Spatial, wearing a pair of Nreal glasses, where I was looking at collaborating with virtual avatars in the real world, imagining what the future of glasses would be. Well, now we're seeing a lot more smart glasses, ones that are gonna be connected with phones. But what we're not seeing yet is that type of telepresence with other people popping into your world, like Star Wars holograms or Marvel characters, where you could suddenly be collaborating together. The Apple Vision Pro in its latest Vision OS 26 update does allow personas to appear in your world and collaborate with other people that are wearing Vision Pro headsets in that same space, really achieving a lot of those ideas. And I was curious where else this could go next. I mean, when is Apple going to make glasses and could this technology leave the Vision Pro and enter phones? I talked with Jeff Norris, the senior director for the Vision Products Group at Apple, along with Steve Sinclair, who's uh, on marketing for that team, and we've all appeared as personas in the Vision Pro headset in my home office. And they hovered there, and, and I was curious how this technology works. Well, first of all, it's using something that I've seen before called uh, Gaussian splatting. And Gaussian splatting uh, takes a few images and knits them together into this realistic 3D holographic type of appearance. It's the same type of technology that Meta's using to create realistic 3D scans of environments in their new Hyperscape uh, app. And other companies are exploring that too. Now, Apple's not doing 3D scans of your world yet, but they are doing it with your face. But they're bonding this to you and to your eyes and to your optic ID recognition so that you can't share it out. I was wondering whether you could scan this on a phone. Now, it sounds like it's not a heavily resource managed type of thing when it does a persona scan, which right now you need to do holding up your Vision Pro. I would love if it were done on a phone. Apple does not have any plans for that announced yet, but it sounds like it's not impossible to do. But also, could you use this as something on your phone or on other glasses? Right now, I can make a FaceTime call on Vision Pro and appear as a persona, like to my wife, and it's pretty absurd and we laugh and I look really uncanny when I'm doing it. As you can see at the beginning of this video, but I think it looks a lot better in the headset where a lot of the intention of the, the movement and almost like a theatrical dimensionality to it, where my hands and my emotions are going, at the same time, I'm thinking about this whole world of AI deepfakes. I use the Sora app and I scan my face, kind of reminds me of scanning a persona, except there I'm creating virtual Scott Steins that are doing magic tricks with the New York Jets. And that world of AI is coming so fast where it feels like identity is fragmenting and splitting. It, Apple right now is not exploring any of that, but they're aware that companies are, including on iPhones, using different tools. But personas right now is something that's looking at a continuation of your existing identity and really controlling that one-to-one -one as a mapping, which I do appreciate. And I'm wondering as we go forward, how that plays out with smart glasses where we will be talking to a combination of real people, virtual people, telepresence people, and AI in all sorts of strange permutations over the years to come. Personas is getting me thinking about it and I hope that at some point you'll get to try it on something that costs less than $3,500.